minus small t2 divided by ln of same t1 minus t1 by t2 minus t2. This is only the formula. I just elaborated the theta1 and theta2 so that finally it became like this. In question paper they will give like this only. Okay. So they will give the inlet temperature of the hot fluid, exit temperature of the hot fluid or inlet temperature of cold fluid and exit temperature of the cold fluid. They will ask us to find out the LMTD. So that formula you should remember. Uh, that if you understand this then you no need to remember the formula. This diagram you understand. This is for parallel flow. So theta1 and theta2 how it is happening I clearly explain. If you understand this then you no need to mark up these things and all. Okay, just remember theta1 minus theta2 by ln of theta1 by theta2. That's it, right? This is for parallel flow. Next counter flow is just opposite to parallel flow. You see the temperature, uh, capital T1. This is hot fluid entering from left to right and cold fluid is moving from right to left because this is counter flow. Direction is reverse. Now what will happen? Same concept you apply. This is theta1 and this is theta2. Then what will it, then how it will become? So same theta1 minus theta2 by ln of theta1 by theta2. So you know the difference theta1 means difference between this. So theta1 is t1 minus t2 and theta2 is t2 minus t1. This is theta2. Clear? So this is a formula for counter flow heat exchanger. And this question you sometimes they are asking in the examination. So that heat transfer always in counter flow heat exchanger will be higher. After that cross flow heat exchanger. Then after that parallel flow heat exchanger. So for better heat transfer we will always choose counter flow heat exchanger only that you remember just ok. Next one effectiveness of the heat exchanger this is also most important uh, topic in the heat exchanger what is the effectiveness of the heat exchanger ok we are using this device how much efficiency that it can give ok so that we have to know ok without knowing that no, no nothing useful to study this topic ok. So now you see what is the definition for effectiveness. Effectiveness is nothing but uh, what is the actual heat transfer is a ratio of actual heat transfer to the maximum possible heat transfer. Okay. So effectiveness is the effectiveness of the heat exchanger is defined as the ratio of actual heat transfer to the maximum possible heat transfer. Effectiveness is denoted by the symbol eta which is equal to Q actual by Q maximum. Okay. So that is the definition for effectiveness. How much actually it is transferring? but how much maximum it can transfer. The ratio between these two is effectiveness of the heat exchanger, right? Next. Next one is the NTU method. This effectiveness you can find out either by LMTD or NTU. NTU full form is number of transfer units. NTU is number of transfer units. NTU. Okay. So the effectiveness of the heat exchanger that you can find out either by LMTD or NTU. Okay. No problem. You can find by any method. Okay. So the formula for NTU, just remember only the formula. NTU is equal to UA by C minimum. What is C? C is nothing but capacitance of the fluid. Okay. So what is mean by capacitance? Capacity or uh, you can say, yeah, capacity of the fluid. What is the capacity? Capacity means how much amount of heat that the fluid can store it with itself. And suppose if it having more capacity means what? It will store more heat. When it is storing more heat, then there is a less heat transfer. Okay. Lesser the capacitance, higher the heat transfer. Higher the capacitance, lesser the heat transfer. Are you understanding? I am repeating again. Suppose this is a pen. Okay. It is having more capacitance means what will happen? I am sending heat. I am heating it from one end. What will happen? Heat will transfer. Suppose this is a rod, steel rod. Okay, you have seen in the furnace. They will heat at one end. Okay, what will happen? That after some time this heat will come to here also. How it is coming? Because heat is transferring. Okay, suppose uh, it is taking more time to reach here means what is happening? It is absorbing it heat. That is capacitance. When it is having more capacitance in the sense what is the meaning for the more capacitance? It is storing heat. It is not transferring the heat. When there is a minimum capacitance only there will be more heat transfer. It should not store more heat. It should always transfer the heat. Okay. So that C minimum. Minimum capacitance formula is equal to 
mass of the fluid into specific heat of the fluid c is equal to m into cp the unit for that is kelvin per watt okay so that mass of the fluid and the specific heat of the fluid you should multiply to get the capacitance value which is equal to m into cp right next so this only i explain and for parallel flow this is the formula to find out the effectiveness of the heat exchanger suppose if you are going to solve the problem by using n tube method you are going to find out the effectiveness of the heat exchanger by using n tube method mean then you can use this formula then you have to think whether the given problem is parallel flow or counter flow if that is parallel flow then effectiveness formula is this 1 minus exponential of minus n to u into 1 plus cr where cr is capacitance ratio okay that is c minimum by c maximum that you have to find out okay what is c value c how will you find out you multiply the mass into specific heat you will get the c value then there will be two fluids so um, ch and cc you have to find out so ch means mh into this will they will give in the question paper where mh is mass of the fluid cph is specific heat of the fluid similarly for cold fluid also they will give these two values so in this which one is lower that is c minimum higher value is c maximum the ratio of these two is cr okay so that to find out cr you should know the c minimum and c maximum this is the formula for C, right? And this is the formula for counter flow heat exchanger, right? So that's all about uh, heat exchanger. So this is the basic definitions and some of the formulas which we will use in the heat exchanger. Okay, thank you.